Now, there is a charge, if I may, that all of what has taken place since the consultation last Wednesday yeah. uh, sets you up to gain as much political mileage as you can, yeah. given the fact that it is also said that yeah. you're intent on running once again in the yeah. Caribbean Shores area. Yeah. And those who were in attendance of the public consultation yeah. are voters that you would look at yeah. to cross over to your yeah. uh, side of the, the football field, so yeah. to speak. How do you respond to that? Isani, those arguments would be proffered by individuals who seek to misrepresent what we're trying to do. This is something that has been in the pipeline for two and a half years. We've worked very aggressively on getting those regulations in place. It has been slowed. The regulations for the zoning, I think, represent a healthy approach in dealing with some of the concerns that have been raised there. This has never been an issue about politics. We've never made it about politics. This is a vibrant commercial zone in Belize City. We want the area to be enhanced, but enhancing it means that we properly plan and manage it and we accord in accordance with the law. So that for those people who say that, all I can say is that that is not the case. This is an issue that when we had that public consultation, which again is the fourth in a series of public consultations. We actually gave out flyers in the area. We invited all the businesses. There were a lot of people who came to that public consultation who don't live in the area, but they may be affected because they're workers or they're business owners. So that that was a discussion among stakeholders, which is what we need to do going forward.